Have you ever wondered how you can remember things better, whether for school, work, or everyday life? Today, we will explore the science of memory and discover how note-taking can be your secret weapon for boosting your memory power. So, stick around because you're about to learn some mind-blowing insights. I'm Anshul Kumar, and welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the science of learning and memory. Today, we're exploring an intriguing aspect of cognitive science. How does note-taking help us remember better? Whether you're a student, a professional, or just a curious mind, this video is for you. To understand how note-taking can help us remember better, let's first get a grasp on how memory works. Our brains have two primary memory systems, short-term memory and long-term memory. Short-term memory is like the mental post-it note, where we temporarily store information and it can only hold a limited amount of data for a short period. Long-term memory, on the other hand, is like the library of our mind, where information can be stored for an extended period, sometimes even a lifetime. Now, let's dig into the science. According to research conducted at Princeton University, psychologist Pam A. Muller and her team found that taking notes by hand, rather than typing them on a computer, enhances our ability to remember and understand information. But why is that the case? Here's the deal. When we take notes by hand, we engage our brain in encoding. This involves summarizing and rephrasing information that makes sense to us personally. As we do this, we filter and process the information, making it more meaningful. This cognitive effort helps us remember and comprehend the material better. As Muller says, note-taking is a generative activity which allows us to rethink and reframe the information. But how do we take effective notes? Well, let's break it down into three key strategies. Active listening. In a lecture or reading a text, actively engage with the material. Highlight the main points, ask questions, and connect new information to what you already know. This active involvement boosts your understanding and retention. Organize your notes. Keep your notes well organized and structured. Use headings, bullet points, and diagrams to make the information visually appealing and easy to review later. Review and revise. Don't leave your notes untouched after jotting them down. Regularly review and revise your notes. This process of revisiting the material strengthens your memory recall. But remember, not all notes are created equal. Research from the University of California, Los Angeles suggests summarizing and paraphrasing information is more effective for memory retention than verbatim note-taking. So, avoid copying everything word for word. The act of note-taking forces you to engage more deeply with the content, as you must filter, summarize, and rephrase it in your own words. Dr. Elizabeth J. Marsh, memory psychologist Dr. Kenneth Kira from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, has shown that taking notes enhances encoding. He states, the act of taking notes itself, when done effectively, helps people to pay attention to and process information more deeply, which can enhance memory retention. Now, let's discuss one of the most famous note-taking techniques, the Cornell Method. This method, developed by Walter Pauk at Cornell University, encourages students to divide their notes into sections, including a main summary. This structured approach helps with organization and retrieval. I'll leave a link in the comment section to my earlier video on Cornell's method of note-taking. Do check it out. Another exciting aspect is the visual component of note-taking. Many of us find that doodling or drawing diagrams in our notes helps us remember better. Why does this happen? Well, our brains are wired to process visual information more efficiently. According to a study in psychological science, drawing enhances memory by actively engaging multiple cognitive processes. Remember. It's not just about scribbling down words. It's about engaging with the information, summarizing, and making it your own. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding content. And if you have any questions or personal experiences with note-taking, please share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep learning, keep taking notes, and keep expanding your incredible memory. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.